You're watching News 12. Another pandemic pitfall. We may be facing a gas shortage this summer. News 12's Andrew Anger tells us why. Karen Schooley says after being cooped up this pandemic, she's ready to get out on the road. I am planning on driving. I don't know where, but I need to take I need to travel somewhere. Like many Long Islanders, she's itching for a vacation, but an industry trade group is putting out a warning. There could be some gas shortages at stations nationwide. Why? During the pandemic, many tanker truck drivers were laid off and training schools closed. Now it says with a surge in demand, there's not enough drivers to deliver the gas fast enough. There is not a silver bullet that's going to cure this issue. Uh, it's going to take uh, continuous exposure to the general public. I don't see any of that this year. I don't see any of that happening. Pete Fioretti from Island Transportation Corp says tri-state stations should be OK when it comes to gas supplies this summer. He says it's always a challenge to find certified gasoline truck drivers, but the Northeast should be fine. It's other parts of the country, he says, where long haul drivers are needed, and it could be an issue there. I know Florida can't find a driver, Texas can't find a driver. So the rest of the country, I think, is hurting looking for drivers so, more than we are. Now, here at ITC, owners tell me they would hire 20 new drivers on the spot today if they could, predicting that this summer is going to be a busy one. We're looking to build up our workforce again uh, to keep up with the new demand. Meantime, some motorists hope there are no shortages on Long Island or anywhere they need to go. If you're using the car, if you travel, you know, you need gas. So if you can't get gas, it's a big problem. In West Babylon, Andrew Enger, News 12 Long Island.